What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sweat. I am Coach Jen, and for our workout today, we're focusing on upper body strength. At the end, we are going to have a hit circuit to close things out, but for the first two circuits, we're focusing on strength. So we have 35 seconds on, 12 seconds off. You'll see three moves, and we got some weight options here. Um, I'm going to go a little bit moderate today. Um, not too heavy. You're not going to need a kettlebell for every move. So if you got a kettlebells, dumbbells, fantastic. Otherwise, you can do this body weight. So let's go ahead and get into our warm-up today, starting off with some jumping jacks. Staying light on those feet. <laughs> Swinging those arms all the way up to the top, all the way back down. Just trying to get some blood flowing, get that heart rate up. As you can tell, we got a little different background here. <laughs> different background, y'all, but same great workouts. <laughs> Same daily sweat, we're still going to get it in. Let's go for 15 more seconds. You should feel that heart rate picking up by now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go into a standing push up. Let's bring those shoulder blades together in the back and then round out that chest. So round out that back. So just opening and closing the chest. Good. Really pull those palms away from the body. Last 10 right here. And three, two, one. Take it to a walk out push up. Walk those hands out. Get that chest all the way to the floor. Walk the hands to the feet. Good, going nice and slow. If you need to bend those knees to come up, do so. Let's do one more, then we'll take it down and thread the needle. Fantastic, drop the knees, get that left shoulder to the floor. And take it over to the other side. Let's just keep switching it, left to right. Three, two, one, plank to pike. Waking up the shoulder some more. We got one more move in our warm up, and then we'll talk about the workout. Three, two, one. Stay right there in that plank. We're gonna go into a row, left to right. Get that palm all the way up to that front pocket or to that rib cage. One more on each side. And let it rest. All right, good people. So. Start things off first, we're gonna go into a floor pull over. So if you got a mat, now's the time to grab it. We're gonna go into a floor pull over and then you'll see the next two moves from there. Let's get our time on the clock again. We're gonna do 35 seconds on, 12 seconds off, and we're gonna go through it three times, all right? So make your way down to the ground. Get your last sip of water with me. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, lay it flat on the ground. Pull that kettlebell all the way to the back, pulling it up right to the chest. <sighs> Opening up through the armpit, slight bend in the arm. <clears throat> Good, I want you to focus on keeping the slight bend from start to finish. That way you're targeting the lats versus targeting the tricep. Last five seconds. Two, one, rest. From here, we got shoulder press. We're gonna use our two kettlebells or one. We're gonna stay in a kneeling position for these to really engage that core. Three, two, one, let's go. Bicep to ear, one knee down or both knees down. Nice and steady tempo. There we go. We're gonna brace the core 
Exhale once you get to the top. Good. We got 10 seconds right here. Two, four, three, two, and one. Good work, y'all. From here, we got push-ups, standard. You can come on your knees, or you can have those feet wider apart for a greater wide support. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's get it. Good. Fully lock those arms out, full extension. Trying to get that chest as close to the floor as you can, keeping those hips up. 15. There you go. Come on, get in one more good rep. Or two if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. One round done, two to go. Back to our floor pull over. Go ahead and grab them onto that kettlebell. Whew. Don't get left behind. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Good. As best as you can, you want to keep that lower back pressed into the ground. You don't want it to arch excessively. Last 10 seconds. Good. One more good rep, y'all. Three, two, one, recover. Good work. Shoulder press. Stay on the ground. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Press it all the way up. Staying right there on the ground. One knee is up or both knees are down. Lock it out. Bicep to ear. You should also feel these in your triceps. We got 10 seconds. Woo. Then those push-ups are coming. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Whew. All right, here we go. Bottom of round two. Getting ready for this push-ups. In three, two, one. Let's go. If you have a chair or a bench nearby, you can also do elevated push-ups for another modification option. Or you can drop it to the knees just like this. Still keeping that core engaged. You still want to keep those hips up. Chest and hips will come down at the same time. They're working together. They are a team. Three, two, one, recover. Good job. Two rounds in, one to go. Back to that floor, pull over. Let's get it ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to work. Whew. Round three of three for the circuit, for circuit number one. Good. Keep that lower back down. Lower back stays pressed into the floor, into your mat. Whew. 10 seconds right here, come on. Three, two, one, relax, good job. Whew. Lats were starting to light up in those last few reps. All right, here we go. Grab onto those kettlebells. Shoulder press in two, one, let's go. Press it up, lock it out. There you go, keep that back tall. Keep that chest proud from start to finish. You're gonna keep that chin parallel to the ground as well. Good, we're almost there. Last 10 seconds on the clock. After this, we go into circuit number two. Three, two, one. 
a job. <laughs> Last time on these push-ups, at least for this circuit, <laughs> they may make a reappearance. Here we go, two, one, <laughs> let's go. Last and final move. Good. Whew. Good job, y'all. We're getting there. Again, come down to those knees if you need it or elevate those hands on a chair, a bench, a countertop. Be creative. Here we go, three, two, one, and I let it rest. All right, good people. So circuit number two, same setup, 35 seconds on, 12 seconds off, staying on the floor. We're gonna do our hollow hold with a kettlebell lift over. So you're gonna have both feet down or one foot up, or if you're feeling fancy, both feet can come up. So you're gonna have that kettlebell to one side, pick it up, drop it over to the other side. As best as you can, you wanna leave your chest pointing right to the front. You got two moves coming up from there. I'll show you when it's time. Get a quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna get started here in 10 seconds. Here we go. Both feet down or just one. Here we go, two, one, let's go. We got 35 seconds here. Driving that kettlebell all the way up to the top from left to right. Keep that chest pointing right to the front of the room. Good. Whew. We got 15 seconds here. Come on, if you want that challenge, you can take one foot off the ground or both. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, we got pull throughs. So plank position, pulling that kettlebell over from one side into the other. Let's get it in four. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Shoulder right over the wrist. Hips are down. Good. This is an anti-rotational movement. So we're gonna focus on leaving that core nice and steady. Hips are steady. Working those obliques. Good. We got 10 seconds right here. Four, two, one. From here, plank to a pike tap. So plank, bring it up to a pike, tap that foot. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go to work. Come on, start off with that solid plank position. Reach that hand back, tap that toe. Come on, use whatever flexibility that you have. If you can only reach down for the shin, that's fine. Good job. Good, nice, solid position. We're getting there, final 15. Whew. Come on, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good job. Taking it back to the top, y'all. Back to our hollow hold with the lift over in four. Three, two, one. Let's get it, y'all. Round two. Whew. Good. Nice and steady pace. Working the shoulders here and working that core. Maintain that lean in that core. Chest is proud. Don't hunch the back. Last five, two, one, pull throughs. Whew. Go ahead and get it ready, set it up. In three, two, one, let's go. Solid plank. Keep those hips as steady as you can. If you gotta get that, those feet further apart, apart, do so. If you gotta come down to your knees, 
do so. You got options. Take them. Just don't quit. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Stay on the floor. Going back into our pike, into that foot tap. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Tap and go. Don't focus on speed, focus on form. Good. Even if you need to bend your knees just a little bit to get there, that is okay. Especially if you have tight hamstrings whew, or any sort of sciatic nerve pain. Last 10 seconds. Good. Four, three, two, one, recover. Good job, my friends. All right, we got one more round Whew, on circuit number two. Once we finish out this, we're gonna go into our hit. Three, two, one, let's go. Grab onto that kettlebell, feet down or up. Either one. Whew. Come on. You should feel this in those abs as well as those shoulders. 15. Don't let yourself stop. Just keep going. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, get ready for that pull through. Last time we're going to see these. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, you know what to do. You know the form. Just get it done. Stay committed to it. Whew. 15 right here. Keep it going. You're more than halfway there. Why would you stop? Five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Whew. All right, y'all, let's get ready for these plank to pike foot taps. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Tap and go. Good. Feet are steady. The feet never move. Push those hips all the way up to the sky. But maintain that solid plank position at the bottom. Don't sink the hips. Keep them up. Last 10 seconds. Come on, recovery is coming. In three, two, one, let it rest. All right, good people. We're gonna finish out with our hit circuit. We're gonna go into up and down planks with the blast off into seal jacks. So starting off on the palms, dropping it down to the elbow, pick it up, bend the knees right back to the starting position. From there, we're gonna take it up into seal jacks, opening and closing that chest. 30 seconds on, eight seconds off. Get a quick sip of water. We're gonna start in about 20 seconds here. Whew. No kettlebells needed, just you and your body. All right, so here we go. Make your way down to the ground, up and down planks with that blast off in two, one, let's go. So on, this is how we finish. Alternate which side you come up on for that up and down plank. Whew. There we go, bend those knees, bend those knees. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Eight seconds to recover. It's going to go fast. Make your way up to your feet. Seal jacks. Three, two, one. Let's go. Open and close the chest. Land in softly on those feet. Heart rate's picking up. Whew. 
halfway. Go on, jump the feet in and out. Whew. Last five. Two, one. Back down to the floor. Whew. All right, y'all, back to our up and down planks. Two, one. Let's go back to work. Ooh. Round two. Ten. Come on, get in that last rep. Three, two, one. Recover for eight. Make your way up. Whew. Big deep breath. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're on bottom of our second round. You should feel this right now in those triceps and those shoulders lighting up. We're getting there, y'all. 15. That recovery is coming. Three, two, and one. Back down to the floor. Round three. Ooh, second to last time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Whew. Come on, finishing out the workout today with this hit. We got our strength in. Now let's get this heart rate up. <sighs> 10 seconds. You look good. Keep going. <sighs> Last rep. Three, two, one. Rest. <sighs> Come on, get up to the feet. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Back to our seal jacks. <sighs> Yo, finish line is coming. We got one more round after this. 15. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Ooh. Yo, last round. Here we go. Three. Two, one, let's do this. Come on, we're gonna finish this out together. No matter how many breaks you've taken to this point, no matter how many times you've had to stop, focus on finishing right here as a team. Whew. Come on, 10 seconds, you got this. Four. Three, two, one, recover. Make your way up. Come on, last 30 seconds is coming. Seal jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, don't get sloppy. Land soft. Open and close those arms. Final 15, if you can. Add in some speed. Here we go, y'all. Here's that countdown. Three, two, one, and let it rest. Good job. Catch your breath, get some water. Whew. Let's stretch it out. I want you to take two big, deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth. One more time, into the nose, out the mouth, and let's stretch. Hands together in the front, tucking the chin around the back. Think about pulling those shoulder blades away from one another. Good, reach down for those toes, stretch out those hamstrings from that jumping. You know, it always feels good to get down to the cool down. You worked it out today. I know you did. 
Gonna slowly roll that back up, bring that right arm across the body. If you still feel like you need more time to catch your breath, that's okay, just hit pause. Come back when you're ready. We will still be here. Switch it out, other side. Whew. Whew. And let's take it down to the floor. Let's thread that needle, get that left shoulder down, hold it. Switch. Whew. This is our final stretch. Three, two, and one. Good work, y'all. Done and done. You made it to the end. Y'all, way to work it out today. Way to get it in. Upper body strength and hits. Good work today, y'all. I am Coach Jen. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.